Welcome back to Marvel Maniac and MCU After Show. This is your host, Eric Cicada, a.k.a. Mr. Honest. Fantastic to be back for episode four of I Am Groot. Your after show source for Groot this week. It's everything Groot. If I'm being honest, I think it's really brave of Marvel to do something completely different and kind of out of left field for them to do these Pixar-level shorts for one of their flagship characters. I think anything's possible going forward. I think more Groot shorts are possible. And now that Marvel um, on Disney Plus has uploaded some of the other shorts, some of which I haven't even seen yet, we might get more shorts going forward. Who knows? So without further ado, let's get into episode four of I Am Groot, this Groot miniseries. This one is called Groot Takes a Bath. And while it sounds simple and to the point, it is hilarious. And we get a lot out of Groot in this one. We see a lot of sides to him. And uh, yeah, I, I love, honestly, when we get character development in a three-minute short. It's character development, in my opinion. On a sunny planet, the Guardian ship sits by a huge tree with enormous mushroom-like branches. Now, between these shorts, the Guardians are on the Ravager ship and their own ship. So you can take a good guess yourself on when this takes place, this small miniseries of Groot's Misadventures. It technically doesn't really matter, um, but it's a short time between the first Guardians movie and after the first Guardians. We find Groot happily jogging through some undergrowth, and he steps up onto a mud puddle. And I gotta say, this planet is gorgeous. Always fun to assume why the Guardians are stopping there, and they just tell Groot, go have some fun, be back in ten. Or <laughs> be back in an hour. <laughs> and he just runs off and does his thing. And it's good to know that the Guardians aren't on just one long space expedition from movie to movie, which I never thought personally. He picks up a stick and sticks it in the mud. He plucks it out and tastes it. And it tastes good, it looks like. He is delighted with the, with the taste of the mud. He dips his toe in the muddy water and then he slowly sits down in it, relieved and grinning. Holding his breath, he goes up to the mud in his eyeballs. I know mud baths are a thing, but Groot is just not afraid of getting dirty, and this is just the cleanest bath for Groot. He swims across the two holes in the ground and plugs them with more mud. Bubbles rise like water in a jacuzzi. As Groot lays back, he snatches a colorful lightning bug of this planet out of the air and squeezes it like it were a condiment bottle. It flies away perfectly unharmed, off into being squeezed into another mud jacuzzi down the way. Fluid squirts out of the bug, turning the water into an iridescent purple, almost like a glowy tie-dye. The liquid hisses as it does this. Gross, yet calm. Groot reaches for a stem hanging over the water and shakes some petals in. He grabs a handful of mud and smears it over his head, arms, and cheeks. He plucks then two long cucumber-looking flowers and places them over his eyes. I am Groot! He lifts up his arms and celebrates the happiest... I'd say we have seen the little guy yet. He has set himself up quite nice. This echoes far and above the tree, and we see some butterflies slash bird creatures fly away to Groot's exclamation. A small animal wakes up, a blue, pink, and white, what I thought the whole time up until almost the very end was a bird, a boyd. I, I took notes like this and had this long-running Iron Man 2 reference joke. You've seen Iron Man 2. You know the villain in that Ivan Vanko, a.k.a. Whiplash, has just an infatuation with birds. His bite. I want my bite. Give me my bite. I want my bite. I love that. <clears throat> and I also was planning on making jokes the whole thing about bite. But it's not a bite, so we will stop talking about that. Uh, he wakes up to group making noise. And this... I'll note that this is the calmest and cutest we see this creature and I wanted him as a pet up until this point, up until after this point. He lets himself go back to sleep. Later, the screen clears of steam and reveals Groot's cucumber-covered face. He takes off the flowers from his eyes. We pan out, and Groot is shocked to see the reflection of his head in the jacuzzi, covered in a leafy bush. I mentioned in the first episode that it seemed like Groot was shaving when he pulled off a leaf off of him, and this is the shaving episode. Not that one, this one. He climbs out of the mud and finds his whole body is covered in leaves. Groot screams. Groot shakes furiously, yet the leaves grow even bushier. He has gone full tree here, and I find it endearingly adorable. He waddles a few steps, then falls in front of a reflective surface and takes a look at his leafy reflection. Captivated, he says, 
I am Groot. <laughs> we get one, at least one per episode, but we get a few this episode. Uh, he smiles at his new look and almost breaks the fourth wall here in pure joy. This is amazing. Later, leaves fall to the ground and Groot trims some of them away. He poses, the leaves covering his head, stomach, wrists, and ankles like a cloth poodle. Ta-da! He expresses as he topples under their weight. They all dry up and fall to the ground. Again, Groot hurries back to the mud pile. Groot kneels at the mud pile, back to the bird with the amazing hair, and in the tree, looking a little disturbed again out of his sleep by Groot. Because Groot's making all sorts of noise. Right? Um, because just then, Groot is covered from head to toe in a leafy dolphin shape, making dolphin noises. Identical dolphin noises. Um, this episode reveals that Groot is capable of making more noises and sounds than just I am Groot. However, this is the most cartoonish episode by far, and it just works so well. Because, again, the animation is gorgeous, I'll say, and it could probably even go as far as winning some awards. Later, and this is probably my favorite part, Groot smears mud and grows a leaf mustache, revealing Macho Groot is what I call him. Macho Groot has leaves like tall hair, big muscles, and of course, his leaf mustachio. He punches the air, making a lot of noise in the process. Hence, waking up the creature in the tree, the not Boyd. It's a squirrel type creature, um, who did nothing to no one at this point. But um, he just wants to sleep. The creature covers his ears. Cut back to Groot, and the leaves cover his legs and form an entire horse's body behind him, revealing Centaur Groot. So many Groot variants. And I'll immediately correct myself and say this isn't a Groot variant, and these aren't Groot variants. Variants are from other multiverses and universes where completely other versions of Groot would exist, along with other versions of the Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, but I just like the word variant a lot. Later, he descends stone steps, wearing a bouffant dress and a ball gown of leaves. Even has some nice blue flowers in his hair. Cinderella Groot? He curtsies. I am Groot. I am Groot, he says. This has got a really good laugh out of me. Uh, especially the reaction of the bird in the tree this time. Um, I keep calling him a bird. I'm sorry. This... I wanted him to be a bird so bad. Even though we got an owl in the first episode. Uh, this, this bird is just... This creature is just finished. He's finished this time. The animal from the tree jumps on Groot's head, which, until this time, exactly, I thought was a bird. This ruins Groot's leaf wig, which I'd say he'd gotten down to a perfection at this point with the flowers and everything. The squirrel-sized animal cackles from a tree. This is where this creature's true colors show. And his fancy hairdo does not outweigh his personality here. He is being a meanie. And his laugh is very cynical, and he's much cuter while sleeping. He didn't have to go and ruin Groot's fun. As all the leaves fall off of Groot's head, he frowns. He hurries back to the mud pile, but only finds dirt. The jacuzzi is no more. As Groot paws at the ground, the last leaf floats away, and he reaches out for it, but it continues to sail away. Groot sits back on his heels in defeat. The most happy we have seen Groot, in my opinion, almost ever, to the most disappointed. He loved this mud pile and what he was able to do and how he was able to grow the leaves it was epic Groot scoops up some leaves and holds them against his cheek endearingly we cut to the animal our animal friend with the fancy hair laughing from his tree branch correction he's cackling he's cackling his head left to right back and forth mocking Groot as Groot glares at the creature his frown turns into a smirk kind of a cynical smirk later Groot struts away draping the animal's long fluffy tail around him like a scarf in his crevice uh, in the tree the animal shivers I want to feel sorry for him and I do but I would say the moral of this is don't laugh at others misfortune <laughs> um, Groot makes his way back to the ship and I will say Groot did go too far here Groot went too far he didn't need to take the fur off of this animal um, this beautiful animal but this animal didn't need to laugh at Groot for losing his abilities here. It's kind of a catch-22, if you ask me. And, yeah, that's where we leave Groot on this misadventure um, of him taking a bath. Even him taking a bath is an adventure in that of itself. And one heck of a story, honestly. It made for a great short, and we got to learn a little bit more about Groot 
we have one more episode of I Am Groot after this to cover, and it's called Magnum Opus, and I'm looking forward to talking about that with you. So if you want to click ahead and listen to that right after this, or at your own leisure, whatever works for you. For the final episode, I will be going into some of the Reddit comments on our Marvel Studios and seeing what they think, and we'll see some of the fan reactions to the short series. I look forward to seeing what they have to say. And also, importantly, what you have to say. Email us at marvelmaniacpod at gmail.com with your thoughts. And we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash marvelmaniac. I haven't updated it in a while at this point of recording, but I will be updating it in the near future, and we will get some perks up there. And if you just want to support the show, that's the place to go, patreon.com slash marvelmaniac. This has been Marvel Maniac, an MCU after show. I am your host, Eric Cicada, a.k.a. Mr. Honest. And until next time, Avengers... Disassembled.